Hello everyone, my name is Brett Keen, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about Mel Gibson, um, some of the movies that he has done, as well as some of the controversy that uh, apparently his comments have made um, throughout his career. It's interesting how celebrities get treated. Um, it seems like no matter what they say, whether they're for something or whether they're against something, they're always humiliated by the media, uh, unless the media feels like um, it would get better ratings by saying positive things by celebrities, which is usually not the case. So what happens is, is that these people who are doing our movies and um, trying to entertain us, um, uh, the moment that they say something that's a little off or very off, um, uh, according to society's standards, all of a sudden people choose not to listen to their music anymore or not to watch their movies anymore. It's as if their entire careers um, and dreams are shattered uh, due to the fact that the media is going to tell us what uh, people think. And for some reason, the people who read this fucking tabloids and bullshit will actually believe it. Mel Gibson um, uh, had pretty much very few problems with the media until he uh, did this thing with Passion of the Christ. Um, this stirred a lot of emotion with the non-believer community as well as the religious community because religious people, they all have their different views about how Jesus was crucified and how Jesus lived and what Jesus said. and how Jesus walked, how Jesus took a shit, how Jesus took a piss. And um, Mel Gibson was basically stating that he was going to make a very, very high-budget movie about this uh, idolized religious character um, throughout humanity. Well, what happened was is the old boy got himself, uh, if it wasn't enough that his movie didn't depict every single religious person's views about Jesus, uh, that caused him problems. He also received threats and all kinds of nasty shit. <clears throat> he uh, had um, got himself into trouble because he drove down the road, got pulled over by a police officer, and actually asked the cop who was uh, giving him, uh, you know, his ticket or getting on to him for drinking and all that. He had actually said something to the effect of, uh, are you a Jew? You know that Jews are fucking responsible for all the wars in the world. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there who believe that most of your wars are based upon uh, religion and certain groups and everything. There are a lot of people who will say that, uh, even in the religious community as well as um, uh, non-believers. There's a lot of non-believers out there who believe that uh, religion is the cause for most of your tragedies and problems in the world. I personally don't. I feel like humanity is responsible and religion is simply the tool. But Mel Gibson got a lot of shit for that. And you'll notice that after that happened to Mel Gibson, uh, you didn't get to see much material out of him anymore. Not much acting, not much movie making. Uh, he did make uh, Apocalypto, which was a very unusual movie, and he also did some commentary in a movie about uh, electric cars that were basically put on the side panel, uh, basically uh, put in the trash because oil companies want to continue to make us pay for gas and everything else in oil as opposed to just make an efficient vehicle for the environment and something that would get a lot more uh, for our buck. Um, it was an okay movie. <clears throat> uh, most people remember Mel Gibson uh, in movies uh, such as The Patriot, uh, Lethal Weapon, the series and stuff, of course. It's one of the first times that Jet Li starred in an American film as the villain in Lethal Weapon 4. And, of course, Joe Pesci starred along with him in the last two. And, uh, of course, one of the most talented African-American actors of all time is Danny Glover. Uh, who mostly got his attention and starred him from a movie back in the day called The Color of Purple. Um, Mel Gibson got himself in trouble a few years back because he was also asked how he feels about homosexuality, and um, he said that 
he felt that the asshole was used for shitting, not uh, for taking a, uh, basically a, well, let's just put it straightforward, a dick in it. Um, apparently, he doesn't support homosexuality. He's not for it. Um, he feels like uh, the, the anus is used specifically for uh, doing what he considers uh, Mother Nature. Um, there's a lot of people out there, uh, both religious as well as non-believer, who feel the same way. But because of his non-support for homosexuality uh, and his views on it, he was considered a homophobe. Now, he's not up there with uh, Reverend Phelps or anything. He's not one of, Mel Gibson isn't one of these type of guys who is going to go out and hurt somebody over the fact that they're a homosexual. He's not going to sit there and, you know, tie somebody to a fence and beat them to death or anything. Uh, but he's very strong uh, in the fact that if someone asks him, he will say he doesn't like homosexuality. Because of this, this caused him a lot of problems, and a lot of people got all over his ass about it. And that's the thing about celebrities. It's pretty sad because um, for some reason when the media is dealing with guys like Tom Cruise or Mel Gibson or many of your actors out there, they always ask these kind of questions that have nothing to do with their movies or, or what they're trying to do on the entertainment basis. They always want to know personal shit like... Uh, uh, what are you doing with your kids and stuff? Let me give you an example, Britney Spears, for example. Um, they, instead of concentrating on what she does musically, they feel the need to slander her and smear her for her. Uh, apparently, she's not, uh, they don't consider her a very decent parent uh, because of some particular situations that have happened with her. Um, so it, it doesn't matter to me whether Britney Spears is a decent parent or not. If if she's not, then maybe she can have somebody else uh, take care of the child or put it off for adoption or maybe whatever. It, it doesn't really concern me. What concerns me uh, whenever I listen to a musician is, is the musician good? Does the musician have talent? Um, do I enjoy listening to their songs when I go down the radio? Personally, I don't really give a fuck about Britney Spears' music. But... I have seen too many times in the past, like even Don Henley or, or musicians of the 70s and 80s that have shown concern for the environment or they show concern uh, where they start organizations where they're trying to advise children to stay away from drugs. Um, instead of people praising them for trying to do something or make a difference uh, by trying to get people off of drugs, um, the media will then say, oh, look at this, uh, Don Henley is one of the biggest drug addicts of all time. Now he's going to tell people um, not to do drugs. Well, what makes more sense? A person who's actually experienced it, who's actually been through the ringer, who's trying now to tell people that it's not a good idea to do it because this is the kind of shit that can happen, or someone who knows not a fucking thing what they're talking about who's trying to advise um, it's, I don't know, I, I don't know how to look at it, really. I personally don't give a fuck what Don Henley uh, from the Eagles did in his past. I don't care what Mel Gibson did in his past. Unless they're hurting someone or they're fucking killing someone, I don't see no real reason to destroy their careers. I feel the same way about situations like with um, O.J. and Michael Jackson and stuff. And a lot of people are going to think, whoa, holy cow. Um, Michael Jackson has been basically acquitted. He's been uh, released twice now and said to have been innocent. He has not gotten in any kind of real trouble for any of this shit. The only thing that has happened is smear campaigns over and over and over again. And I feel like that's what people have kind of done with Mel Gibson, as well as Tom Cruise. Uh, Tom Cruise hasn't done anything really cold-blooded or bad either, but because he's a part of a religion that is very unusual, like Scientology, people have decided to fucking smear him and make his life miserable over it. And uh, I'm, it just makes me very nervous. It, it makes me nervous. I, I myself, I have experienced what it's like, and I'm nowhere near the status of Mel Gibson or Tom Cruise, but I do know what it's like to be popular, and I do know what it's like to uh, be someone that people respect or look at and listen to, and then 
every once in a while I say something that isn't agreeable with either non-believers or religious people, and then the next thing I know, um, my fucking existence is turned upside down just because of a couple comments I made on certain things. And that's the funny thing about people, too. Um, sometimes when people make the comments that they do, they haven't had really a chance to think about things, and they're kind of put on the spot, and they just kind of riddle out whatever, not really knowing what the ramifications are. Uh, does a person believe, deserve to be dragged through the mud or are slandered and screwed over? I don't think so. I, I think that we should try, I think what we should do, and this is the solution, is to try to understand why people think like they do, uh, try to understand them as opposed to judge and persecute and fucking pound somebody over the head and tell them that they're stupid and retarded, perhaps try to understand them and why they come from where they come from and try to talk about it and share and ideas and everything. Um, because I believe with enough time, and enough work, anybody can um, come to the light, as some people would call it. They can um, come to a better understanding of who they are and why they believe what they believe, as opposed to uh, making a person feel like shit for it. Because if you make a person feel like shit for it, you're not going to change their mind. You're not going to motivate them to do um, the right thing, I guess, morally, or the good thing by punishing them or, or shitting all over them, uh, they need to be talked to. I personally have always been a fan of Mel Gibson's work. I really enjoyed the old movies like Road Warrior, Mad Max, Braveheart, The Patriot, and so on. So that's my views on the situation. Uh, some people, of course, are going to disagree with me. Some will agree with me. It really doesn't matter because no matter what I say or how I express myself, there's always going to be some asshole out there who hates me for what I do and what I say and some people who love me for it. I right, thank you.